wildflowers everyone should know. Beginning Nature Study Series. Wildflowers everyone should know. We have all seen lovely wildflowers whose names we do not know. This film strip will help us to recognize the common ones and will show us where we may find them. Near home, we are sure to see a few wildflowers in empty lots, but as we walk away from town, we may look in fields, in woods, on hillsides, and near water for our wildflowers. Do these grow near your home? Dandelions grow almost everywhere. The bird's foot violet is named for its leaf. We can find it in empty lots. The sunflower brightens up many an alley in late summer. If we walk out of town into the country, we shall see many of the field flowers. Some grow along the roadside where we can find them easily. We must remember to leave them for others to enjoy. The fringed gentilian closes its blossom on a dull on a dull day it is scarce near cities downy phlox also grows along the roadside the leaf and stem are downy soft morning glory twines itself on the other plants of the field blue-eyed grass stares at us from the meadow we may find the Pascal flower in the prairies in early spring. Pasqua. When we come to a brook or pond, we can look for the wildflowers that grow in very wet places. The marsh marigold is very common in swampy places. Early in the year, we may find the skunk cabbage. We will remember its odor. The blue flag is like the iris in our gardens, but it prefers wet ground. In a bog, we may be lucky enough to find a wild orchard, yellow lady slipper. A wild orchid, excuse me, yellow lady slipper. The woods are carpeted with wildflowers, but each flower has its favorite growing place. Some like shady, moist woods and rich soil, Others like thin, dry woods and rocky or sandy soil. Jack in the pulpit hides away in a shady, moist place. Spring Beauty stands tall in open, moist woods. It closes at dusk. Dog's Tooth Violet seeks out a shady place besides a brook or in a wet woods. In rich woods, we may find white trillium. Notice the rule of three. Square squirrel corn gets its name from the yellow knobs on its roots. In open woods, look for a green umbrella. This is the May apple. The rue and moan likes thin woodlands. In the south, azalea bushes decorate woods and hillsides. Flowering dogwood blooms in southern woods as a tree or a shrub. The trailing arbutus covers rocky woods and hills with a perfumed carpet. Among the dead leaves in the woods, we may find hepaticia early this spring, early in the spring. On a rocky slope, we can see wild col columbines. Dutchman's britches grow freely in the woods. They are like squirrel corn. Mountain laurel forms thickets on slopes and in woods. Honeysuckle often creeps out of the woods to decorate a farm, a farm fence. Next time we take a walk, 
let's try to name the wildflowers we see. Soon we shall want to look in books for those we can't name. Then it is helpful to remember where they grow. Questions for discussion. Where have you seen wildflowers? Which flowers need lots of water? Why shouldn't we pick wildflowers? Which flowers are named for the way they look? This has been an SVE Filmstrip presentation.